Barry Butler's photos, they perfectly capture Chicago, and we've got John Hanson. He's hanging out with him all morning long. John, how's it going? Well, it's going really well, and Barry, you just mentioned we got a real star here. Introduce <laughs> us to your dog. Yeah, this is the guy. This is what I, this is, quite honestly, everyone wants to see him in my photos, quite honestly. All right, so Barry, we gotta we gotta meet you because you know we've seen your photos, they're iconic in Chicago. How did you get into becoming a photographer? Uh, it was a kill boredom. I broke my collarbone playing hockey and I couldn't do anything for eight months, so I had one arm to work with. Bought myself a tripod, camera, taught myself. And you taught yourself everything. I mean, we're looking yeah. at some of these incredible images. Is Chicago a fun city to shoot? Oh, well, it's the prettiest city in in the in America. So, but what's funny is I rarely ever used to shoot Chicago. I used to shoot Ireland and and uh, the Grand Tetons. And then one day I started shooting around Chicago, and people liked the photos. You ever get back to hockey? Uh, I stopped about five years ago after another concussion. So. Oh, okay, all right. Well, focus on the photography. And you got the Stanley Cup hat. That's all that matters. There you go. All right, so what we're going to have you do is we're going to have you use one of our cameras. Sure. And, because, you know, some people use, you know, their, their phones that they have, and some of the phones take great photos, but nothing right. like a real camera to be able to frame up a cool shot. So do you mind kind of, like, taking over sure. one of our cameras here and walking through what you're doing when you're framing up a shot here along North Avenue looking at the city? Well, I, I sort of set it up as best as I could here, but ultimately what I'm trying to do do is lead the the viewer's eyes into what you know what what I want want people to see. So in this case here, the Hancock is a, certainly an iconic spot in the skyline. So if I'm, I'm taking the and you'll see it on my other camera. I am trying to take the sidewalk here or the running path and lead people to the Hancock. All right. Yeah. So if I were to move this, Barry, so let's see. If I would do this. I'd be like, oh, what a great shot. No, right. you're trying to move it. So move it to where you would perfectly yeah. want that. I would probably want it right about here because. Uh, the, uh, the 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 curb, I guess you, we can call it, is starting to lead toward the skyline, uh -huh. and then I'm a, I'm going to adjust the uh, the uh, the aperture and also the shutter. And, All right, and, so do that. Yeah. That's cool. And so uh, this is at uh, f11. That's a a, a key landscape uh, f-stop gives you a lot of depth of field, which is real important. I know some people love that bow key, which is uh, one little area that is in focus and everything's out of focus. Uh, but this is to get everything in focus from five feet in front of us all the way to half a mile away from here. All right, so you'd like this photo? You're okay with that? Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. I like that. Not perfect. It'll look, it'll let's look go better, over. It'll yeah. look better on my Let's camera. come on over because uh, Barry's got some high-tech stuff going on over here. So, Barry, what are you looking at? I mean, this yeah. looks incredible. So, this really gives us the 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 lines, and, and I shoot in sevens. There are two ways. Actually, there's really one way that most people shoot, which is the rule of thirds. They take the photo, and they line it up, and I feel that's kind of static, so I shoot in sevens. So, if you look in this photograph right now, there's a, there's a seven right there. There's a seven here, there's a seven there. So that's how I, I shoot because it will lead people to the area that um, I found important. And the Hancock right there is technically on the rule of thirds, which uh -huh. is the third of the left side of the, the photograph. All right, well, we're gonna look at more of your work. We're gonna take some more photos. Barry, thanks for letting us hang out with you today. Happy to be here And with more you. importantly, Ajax, thanks for letting us hang out with you today, right? Very good. Yeah, there we go. Okay, guys. One of the spots he likes to shoot from is right here in the Lincoln Park Zoo. Barry, you like this spot, right? Oh, it's so quiet. Even though you have the animals over here, absolutely peace here in the lagoon. All right, what's your favorite season to shoot at? Because we're about to see some photos from all different sorts of seasons. Winter. You really like shooting winter. <laughs> Why? Polar vortex, that was phenomenal. Really? Yeah, because the landscape constantly changes. So every day, every hour, things change. So it's nice to have that variety. I wouldn't mind the cold weather as opposed to the 100-degree uh, heat of the summer. That's probably not the best I want to nothing to do with 100 <laughs> I'd rather minus 80 than plus 80. All right, sounds good. All right, Bear, here what we're going to do is I have framed up a shot that I think is good. I think okay. it's overexposed. We're going to take a look at that camera, and I want you to go ahead and fix my shot for me, okay? okay. Well, you seen it? Yeah, it's hard to take a bad shot in Chicago, let's be honest. Okay, so... But, yeah, I probably would... Because we, we want to show this reflection here. Uh -huh. I don't know if we can widen there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so show the reflection. And I want to increase our uh, shutter speed here and bring that in. Okay. Uh, I might even throw a filter on there. Oh, you have a little filter in your yeah, pocket. Th th yeah, these are real filters. Yeah, not Instagram <laughs> ones. Yeah. And so all, all I would do on here is I'd throw it on the lens. Oh, wow, look at that. He's throwing that on there. And what it will do is you'll see the the colors start to pop. All right, well, Barry, what we're gonna do is we're gonna frame up this one here. We're gonna get to a little bit more in a little bit. 
but oh my gosh, look at that. It's already 20 times better than my shot, guys. Barry Butler, everyone. All right, more with Barry and more uh, fun here in a little bit. All right, well, we're gonna try and have me take a photo in just a second, but Barry, you know, your stuff goes viral. Almost every photo you take gets shared, retweeted in every every social media form. Was that by accident? Like, how did it start oh, out? Yeah. How did that happen? Yeah, it was totally by accident. It was the last thing I ever thought would photos of Chicago would turn into something to where it is right now. But, you know, I just started sharing these photos because I used to shoot around Chicago as I was prepping to go somewhere else to go shoot. So I would get all my gear together, make sure everything is working right. And then I would just post those like, hey, I was over here today. And people were like, oh, I like that. And I'm like, OK. Uh -huh. And then it just kind of went from there. I kept on posting the Chicago stuff. And then lo, lo and behold, you know, is it eight years later, people are still liking it. Are there sometimes photos you take, you're like, this is going to be the one that's going to go. And then it's a different photo that people just really recognize oh, yeah. with them. There's nothing worse than, you know, because I do a lot of planning with my shots. And then I know the following morning, the following is going to happen. I measure all this stuff out. <laughs> Great sky, color, right. everything. And no one says anything, no. which is fine. <laughs> which is fine. Which is fine. Because I'm shooting for me. And right. then, you know, I could be just on a boat and I just take a picture of, let's say, Navy Pier and right. people are going gaga. Yeah. I'm like, okay, that took me about three seconds to shoot. <laughs> That's the so, way it goes sometimes. Yeah. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Let's all go ahead and take what we're calling the Barry Cam, which is actually one of our cameras. Oh, look at the ducks lined up. Oh, the ducks I mean, are the lined up for look at us. That. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so I want you to take a look at the screen. So here's okay. what we're looking at here. Look at this little graph thing that we have on the upper right hand part of the screen. Yeah, that's what a, is that? That's that's called a histogram. A histogram. It's, it's one of the most important things with now with digital photography because you used to not be able to have that with film. And it's showing you light and what is right. the changes in the light. So, two things are important about taking a photograph: managing the light and composition. Okay. So fortunately, we have a fairly decent composition because the city here and the where we're at. Right. But it would be nothing worse to take a really nice composed shot and then it's overexposed. Okay. So this gives us information saying, okay, you know, this is overexposed or over uh, or underexposed. Right now, you're looking good. All right, because people can see that number, the 200 and the 11. The 11 yeah. is what I'm changing. So we don't have to get into too much of the technical stuff, but. Yeah, it's 1 200th of a second. That's how fast the lens and is. And that's right the now. shutter speed. And that's the shutter speed, that right. Down. Yeah, and, and, if, and if you keep on going to that right side, you're going to be overexposed. Okay, all right, I can see Which that. Which is not good. Which is no good, because this will just ruin the picture if I go the wrong way. Right, and if you go the opposite way, it's even worse, which you're going to be underexposed. All right, so I'm going to go to 11 here. This is F11. I'm going to do 200 for my shutter speed. Right. Obviously, this is my zoom, and I'm going to try not to do too many quick movements to make people uh, <laughs> make people dizzy back at home. They're eating breakfast. Yes, now. exactly. So I'm going to get the reflection. I got some ducks there. Do you like that? Yeah, is that OK? Yeah, Tilt that up, down, pan left or right? What do you think of Barry? Yeah, no, I think you're good. we got a couple of ducks sitting there right on top of the Hancock reflection. All right, so that's where I would snap it. Yeah. All right, we can't quite do that. Here with no. our setup here, but snap! There it is. That's our photo. That's Wonderful. really. Wonderful. You know what? Print that. Yes, we're gonna print that. Barry, thank you so much for showing us this stuff. Wait, and, spend uh, time with you. Uh, BarryButlerPhotography.com, right? For yes, more information. Yes, please go there. All right, guys. I got some helpers here today. I got uh, Ajax. I got Barry Butler. Let's take the Barry cam here for a gorgeous shot of uh, what's happening downtown. And you can see Barry's framing it up a little bit. I know one person that's happy about these warmer temperatures is Ajax here, the pup. So calm. Here we go. Nice job. Pet your pup today, guys.